All right, folks, welcome back to beautiful Peace in North Carolina, down here at Firewater Farm Sawmill. Today we want to talk to you a little bit of something different that we don't normally talk about, and it's safety out here around the sawmill. You're dealing with a lot of sharp objects, chainsaws, saw blades, uh, sawdust, flying debris. I mean, it's a big hazard out here, and uh, it's easy to get complacent on safety because you know, it's hot, it's been 100 degrees. We stopped right now just because we had a little rain shower. Summertime, you know, you got orders you got to get done, you got stuff you got to get done. Easy to, something happens as far as safety wise or to the equipment, just say, well, I'll get it in a little bit. And this is our case. We had this guard right here uh, that guards the blade. If you used to have the blade come off, folks, this blade is spinning fast. I mean, it, it is rolling. And it, uh, every one of these teeth are like razor blades, all right? So the guard come off and instead of stopping and fixing it, we just said, well, we'll just, you know, run without it for a little while. And what I want to show you in the video, our sawyer, we was running this thing, doing a cedar order. He was all the way at the back, uh, messing with a piece of wood, off bearing a piece of wood. And as you can see, he started walking this way. He's out of the frame on it, but he started walking this way and he got about this point right here and that blade blew off and it came about five feet from him. And you can imagine the force of that thing coming off and hitting him. Cause this blade is spinning this way. I, it'd be like somebody slapping you with a, a belt full of razor blades. So after we seen that, we stopped. <laughs> we hate to say it folks, but we had this hinge probably for about a month, maybe two months, I don't know, it's hard to say. Ain't no excuse why we ain't had a chance to put it on there as far as safety wise. Uh, put it on there, uh, real simple fix, didn't take five minutes. And now when that blade comes off, we got something that can hold it. I'm gonna probably get a little different pin right here that's probably gonna vibrate. But just to show you a little bit about safety and keeping your mind on what you're doing, when it's hot, it's easy to skip that. And you know, our main goal is to get home safe with all your fingers and everything being safe and not getting hit in the head with a blade. So I just hope this helps y'all. Wanted to share this with you. Even though it's hot, y'all try to keep your head on what you're doing. Y'all have a good day and be safe and stay cool.